Ah, the end. Minecraft's iconic dimension. This is where you fight the Ender Dragon and complete the game. But what you might not know is that Minecraft's second alternative dimension wasn't planned to be the end at first. It was planned to be the Sky Dimension, also known as the Skylands and Sky Realm. What happened to this long forgotten cancelled dimension and what's the history behind it? Today, I answer that question. Let's get started. The concept for the Sky Dimension started all the way back in InDev, when there was a map type called Floating. It generated a bunch of floating islands with various terrain. The first real glimpse we got into the Sky Dimension was when Notch tweeted out a picture of what the Dimension looked like. As you've probably guessed, the Sky Dimension is a bunch of floating islands. It was meant to be a heaven-like place because the Nether was considered to be a hell. In the Sky Dimension, there is no sun due to performance issues, so everything is evenly lit, giving it this weird kind of vibe. It's clear it was unfinished because the only mobs that spawn there are chickens, and no monsters come out at night. The Far Lands, a unique type of terrain that generates when you go extremely far out in a Minecraft world, has a variant exclusive to the Skylands, which looks pretty cool. The Sky Dimension was actually mostly implemented in early beta versions of the game, which could be accessed by modifying the game's code. There was a mod that did this for you, but I couldn't get it to work, and even some of the alternative mods didn't work either. Hence why I'm using other people's footage to show you the Sky Dimension. However, the floating islands world type in current day Minecraft gives us a pretty good estimate on what it would have looked like when it was finished. The Sky Dimension wasn't fully confirmed until Notch posted something on Twitter saying, and because PC Gamer made such a big deal out of the Sky Dimension, I guess I'll have to finish it. Consider it confirmed. In a live stream on the Swedish gaming site Feber.se, Notch said that the Sky Dimension would probably be a dream world and that when you go to bed there, there will be a certain chance that you get dragged into the dream world instead. Then you will be able to access it on purpose later on. The Dimension was originally planned to release in the Adventure Update, also known as Beta 1.8 and Minecraft 1.0. However, Notch decided to push it back until the Nether was more fun instead, as mentioned in this interview. Uh, I, I'm gonna wait with that in the Skylands I was working on until the Nether is more fun. Okay, cool. Ultimately, the Sky Dimension was cancelled and never seen from again, and was replaced with the end. They did this because they thought that the darker vibe of the end made a more fitting ending to Minecraft. Notch actually said after the end came out that he would try and bring back the Skylands, but Jeb and Dinnerbone have both denied this. That wraps up the history behind the Sky Dimension. It's pretty interesting how the original idea for the end was completely different. Thank you so much for watching, and for getting me to almost a thousand subscribers, that's kinda crazy. I will be doing a, like, six hour live stream or something like that to celebrate, so it's gonna be pretty crazy. I'll have more details later. Again, thanks for watching the whole video, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.